I'd like to show you how to take content out of a PDF and either edit it or save it for use somewhere else in another file, another program, whatever you want to do. Now there's 50 ways to do this. You can take a screenshot, you can copy stuff, whatever, but I'll show you two ways that will allow you to use the original content. Okay, one way, eh, not so much, but the other way, yes. So if you got a PDF open and make sure that there's no security on it, come to File Properties. There's 50 ways to find this out too. Come to Document Properties, come to the Security tab. You'll see it should say No Security. Now, if it does say Security, you're going to have to take it off. If it still says No Security and it says Changing the Document, things say Not Allowed with a little asterisk or something like that. It usually means there's a digital signature or something to that effect. You may not be able to edit it, okay? All right, so I'm going to go over to the right, go to Tools. What I want to do is I want to find the Document Processing Panel or Options. Now, if you don't see it over there on the right, you can come up to the corner right here, click on this little object, come to Document Processing, that should open it up. And you'll see right here, whoops, you'll see right here, Export All Images. Now, I like this for certain things, but... If I click on that, the, the issue is, in our case, or in this case rather, is that it's going to rasterize all the images and save them as one of these file formats. That's okay. If you, if you guys know that there are just pictures in here, you can save them. That's great. It just matters them all over your desktop or where, wherever folder you guys create to do this. Now, if I want the original content, let's say that this is vector, which means it's made of shapes, right? I can't use this method because it's going to rasterize it. So I'll click Cancel. I'll zoom out just a bit. I'll show you why in a second. Come up top, and I'm going to find on the right-hand side over here the Edit Object. Now, what this allows you to do is to click on objects and move them, delete them, edit them within the page or within the PDF. I can undo that. Now, I'm going to select this object. And if you see, the problem here is that it's a bunch of shapes and vector objects that are kind of stacked on top of each other. So I want to get the whole logo. Let me undo that. I'll go to Edit, Undo, Move. Here's what we do. Start somewhere off the edge of the page. Don't start right here where there's objects, because then if you do what I'm about to do, you'll click and drag stuff. Start out here. Click and drag to select. Anything within this box you create is going to get selected. If I let go, it'll select. Now, I know it looks kind of weird. It's got 50,000 things selected here, but I'm going to deselect some of the things I don't want. This green box, for instance. If you come to that green box and hover over it, Hold down the Shift key and click on it to deselect it. It's just like selecting things in other programs. If you click on it, you can add it to, or you can just select it rather, but if you Shift click, you can either add it to the selection or remove it from the selection. Now, I don't want this arrow either. It's going to be a little trickier, but I'll hold down Shift to deselect it and click on it, and it should deselect it. Now, sometimes you mess up, okay? Like it's still got this thing maybe over here, this little piece. I can actually zoom in and see if we got that. Yeah, it looks like it. So I can shift click on that to try and deselect it. There we go. You guys, if, if you pick up a few extra things, don't worry. This is for vector content, by the way. If it's a picture, you can just click on it, okay? But with vector content, we need to do this. Now, if I want to then take it out of here, you can come over one of the shapes, right click, you'll see we can copy it, okay? Now, I'll show you a couple things here, but if I copy this, if you go over to a program that supports this kind of stuff, like Illustrator, create a new file, let's say. I'll go to File New. There we go. And I will paste, Edit Paste. You'll see what it does. Absolutely nothing, okay? <laughs> There's some cases where this just doesn't work, you guys. So here's what we wind up doing. If I come to the shape itself, right-click on it, you will see that we have Edit Objects. Now, what this lets you do is if it's vector content, which means it's made of shapes, basically, you can take it over to Illustrator or whatever program you have that is associated with this kind of content, okay, with objects. If it's a picture and you choose edit objects, it's going to take it over to a raster editing program like a Photoshop or a Photoshop Elements. If I click edit objects, it's going to say, oh, well, hey, something might be wrong. Something might happen. It's kind of there out. I'll click yes. Take it over. Sometimes it'll say, well, the colors are mixed. What do you want to do? I'll just pick one. Click OK. It doesn't matter. And there we go. There's our ob There are our objects right now. Now, if you do this, like I said, if it's a picture, you can take it to Photoshop. If it's vector like this, it'll take it over. Now, it's not. this is not always going to work. I've had problems with, the, with things where it just 
just garbles them. Something happens in the process, but most of the time you should get this, this to work. Now let's go through real quick how we can edit this, and then I'll show you guys what we can do. So if I click on a letter here, you'll see that, oh, okay, I can grab some shapes, but as soon as I start clicking on other stuff, I get like a big group thing here. You're going to see right up here it says group and illustrator, okay? Now I can try and ungroup, or I'm going to go over to the layers panel here and open this thing up. And this has always been kind of an issue with bringing in content or pasting content to Illustrator, I found. If you see, there's the group right here in the layers. If I toggle it open, you'll see what's called clipping path. This happens a lot. So for groups and things like that, what we need to do, you guys, is we need to go in and get rid of these clipping paths for all of these groups. You'll see that there's little groups everywhere. So all you got to do is this. If I click on a group, come down to the bottom. If you see this little button here, that basically says, you know, do or undo, you'll be able to click on it and it will just make that clipping path a regular old path and make it so we can edit things. So I'm going to come to each group that has a clipping path on it and click that little button to turn it off. I'm just going to look at each one, clipping path, turn it off. It's going to start making it so we can edit the shapes eventually. Look at the group, turn off clipping path. Now it's going to create some paths we don't need. We'll get rid of them. Don't worry. And last group here, let's see if we got one. Yep, we do. Turn it off. Now, most of the time, that'll be okay, you guys. Sometimes it may destroy your image, you'll find, depending on how it's built, but anyway. All right, so if I go out here and click, you'll see that I can start to select the shapes, but I will still also see that we get these objects. There's big rectangles back here. So what we need to do is we need to ungroup. So I'll go to Object, Ungroup, and you guys will see Ungroup right there. I usually use a shortcut, that's why. I'll click on each group over here, you guys in the panel. Click on the area over here and just ungroup or object ungroup, there we go. Click to select, object ungroup. Come up to any groups that we have, you guys, and select them. This is one way to do it, by the way. There's 50 other ways to do this, just like everything else, object ungroup. And it looks like there's one more that I missed, so I'll go to object ungroup. Now, if you're ungrouping, sometimes it can screw up your image. You gotta pay attention to it and make sure things look good still. There's one more group, I'll ungroup it. And what you'll find is that there are a bunch of tr rectangles out here. The shape of this whole thing, you can just click and drag across usually and select them all. You'll see all these. Those used to be the clipping paths. I'll just delete them. And if I go select this stuff, you should find that it's just now the shapes. We can go in and edit, do what we need to do, save this. Right now it's a PDF file. You can save it as an Illustrator file, do whatever you need to do, and place it in another program. So... It's going to take a little bit of finessing, you guys, and I, I, no, I didn't say it was simple, okay, but it is a way to get content out of here and use the original content. You can do that for just about any object we have. So if I come to one of these gears right here, click on it with Edit Object, right-click, go to Edit Object, click Yes, there's my gear. Once again, I'm going to see it's creating this group with a clipping path. I need to go to Group, Ungroup, turn off the clipping path, ungroup it, and be good. All right. Now, if you are having problems where it's opening the right application when you guys do this, you can always come up to the preferences. So it's Edit Preferences on Windows, Acrobat Preferences on Mac. And in here you will find, and I always forget where this is. I didn't actually look where it was. You'll see Touch Up. There it is. You'll see Image Editor, it found Photoshop. Page Object Editor is what it finds for you know, vector content, things like that. So Illustrator, you can always click and choose another application to edit that content so you can fix it there. So there you go. A little esoteric, a little weird, but it's something that I have to do on occasion. So there you go.